everyone welcome today i will be sharing a brand new recipe with you coconut cranberry cake this cake is so nice soft moist and tasty anyone who made this cake will enjoy it so let's get here are the cranberries and now i'm going to cut them in small pieces you don't have to use a knife and cut them, you can use a food processor and cut them small, but now I'm using a knife. Did you know that cranberry has a lot of health benefits? Cranberry, by research showing, it can improve your urine tract infection. It also prevents cavity, reduce inflammation, maintain digestive health. There are lots of benefits in eating cranberry or incorporating cranberry into your diet. There are so many ways that you can use cranberry. Cranberry can also prevent tooth decays. It also strengthens your bones. So I would recommend that you use more cranberry in your diet. A lot of persons only use cranberry in making juice, but cranberry also can put into your salads or if you are making baking pastries. Some of the pastries that you are making, you can incorporate cranberry in, into it. There are a lot of ways that you can use cranberry, so let us use more cranberry in our diet that we can improve our health because a lot of persons nowadays are not eating their proper food to maintain their health so i am imploring you to use more cranberry in your diet here i finished cut up the cranberries and i'm going to add them to the bowl now i'm going to add some coconut by cutting them small into small pieces after cutting the coconut in small pieces i'm going to blend them did you know that also coconut have a lot of health benefits? Coconut is low in carbs. So it is rich. So it is the best substitute for carbon rich snacks. It contains minerals and nutrients such as potassium, sodium, magnesium, vitamin B, copper, iron, Magnesium is beneficial of our bone health. Copper and iron help maintain red blood cell. So it is good for us to incorporate coconut in our diet. We need to eat more food that is healthy to our body and can help us to have more a more healthier body than what we are doing. So I'm a I would advise anyone making your meal to incorporate coconut into your diet. There are so many ways that you can use coconut. Now I'm going to add a cup of water to the coconut that I, that I finished cut off and I'm going to use it. This recipe that I'm making. You can see the this recipe will be beneficial to you. Now I'm going to squeeze out the juice out of the coconut trash. After squeezing out the juice, I'm going to set them aside. Here I finish squeeze out the juice. Now I'm going to start the process of baking the mixing the cake butter. First I'm going to add the sugar. After adding the sugar, I'm going to add my soft margarine. I'm 
and I'm going to mix it until it's fluffy. After finish mixing it, I'm going to add my eggs and my spices to the mixture. Yeah, it's a bit fluffy. So it's more fluffy and nice. Now I'm going to add my eggs to it. You need to break the eggs into a separate bowl. Do not break them and in over the mixture. Because a lot of time you have eggs and you put them down and you do not know that they are spoiled and you break them and put them into the mixture and you put break them over the mixture and you get the mixture spoiled. Now I'm going to add the spices. I will be adding my vanilla. And my mixed spice. And here is my cinnamon extract. And also some rose water. And I'm going to mix them for about five minutes. Then I'm going to add my coconut juice, the juice that I was squeezing out of the coconut. And I'm going to mix them together when that they all combine together. Here is the finished mixture and I'm taking it out and going to rest it aside and prepare the, the, the flour to add to it. Here is the cranberry and also the and, and also some coconut flour and I'm mixing both of them together. I'm mixing it, the cranberry and the coconut flour that they may combine together before I add the other rest of ingredients to it. I'm going to add one cup of flour. I already have the coconut flour, so I just need one cup of all purpose flour to add to it. And I'm going to add some lemon zest, some nutmeg. You want it real spicy, so by adding all these spice, when you finish bake, you're going to taste all the spice in it. The more spice you add to it, is the more nice this cake will be. And I'm mixing all the ingredients together. Next, I'm going to add some baking powder for the raisin agent. So here is the baking powder and I'm adding it to it. You need us to combine everything together. Everything need to be combined together. That's every portion of the, of the baking powder in it. So you just mix it well after adding the baking powder. Now I'm going to add some of the coconut. 
the trash out whether that squeeze out the juice and leave we're going to add it to the mixture Next, here is the boat, the, the recipe, the boat of it. I'm going to add some salt because I didn't add any salt before, so I'm going to add a small amount of salt, salty taste, to the mixture before I mix it into the butter. When you are mixing the, the Mixing it together, you need to add just a small amount of the flour. You don't need to add all of it at once because you don't want any lumps. So you add a small amount and keep on folding it until all of the flour gradually mix out. You don't want to add everything one time. When that mix, you're going to add the the, the other the next portion of the flour and keep on mixing it folding it folding it until all of the flour dissolve out because you do not want any lump into your cake that's when you finish you have a lumpy cake so you just keep on folding it folding it until all of the flour dissolve out Anyone who try this cake will enjoy it because the coconut and the cranberry bring out the flavor in this cake. Keep on folding it well. No, when at the end of the no finish era of the the pan already greased with my paper and now I'm going to add the mixture to it. After finish, you're going to give it some tap on the counter. You have to tap it as everything is equal in the pan. After finish that area, I have my pot on the stove. And I'm going to cover the pot bottom with salt. You have to cover the entire bottom of the pot with salt. Next step, I'm going to add a lifter. You need to add a lifter to add the cake inside of the pot. As soon as the pot at. Now I'm going to add my cake. And then I'm going to cover it. After covering it, I'm going to make it bake for about an hour and a half or until I stick it and the, there is no more juice in it. Here is the cake. Now I'm going to test it with, my, with a knife. You can use a toothpick if you wish, but I'm going to use a knife to test it. You can see I stick it and nothing don't come out on the knife. You can see that it is ready. You can see how lovely this cake come out. Now I'm taking it out of the pot. Here is my cranberry coconut cake. You can see how lovely it look. Now I'm cutting it to let you have a look at the inside of it. You can see how nice it is while I'm cutting it. Here it is.
Now I'm tasting the cake for, and show you how moist it is and nice. And I'm also enjoying it. This cake is so enjoyable. I would implore anyone who watched this video to make this cake and enjoy this cake as well. I'm enjoying it. It's so enjoyable. Thanks to each and everyone for watching. All who that have watched this video, could you please like, share and subscribe. Could you please press the notification bell and tell somebody else about this in this recipe. This recipe, everyone will enjoy it. And, and this is a brand new recipe that I have put out. And you can follow me. For more brand new recipe. Recipe that everyone will enjoy. Thank you all for watching. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for commenting. And thank you yeah, for coming now. on. Let's and and taking your time okay. and watching my videos. Me any, thank you all for to each and every one. And each and every week I will be posting a brand new video. So please press the notification bell. That whenever I post a brand new video. You will be the Back first up, one to get notified. Thank you all so much for watching. And thank you for sharing, liking and comment. This this video this part of the video is showing you how we harvest coconut to bring to the market in Jamaica.